Go to surgery at 11 o'clock because of a block in the intestines. And the child is bleeding from the stomach right now. I am very, very concerned. And in general, when we have that, the surgeons will handle it and anesthesia. But what we do is we go down there and be part of the whole thing in the operating room because the parents know us more than they do. So we, we tell the mother, who is a very lovely lady, this is her only child, uh, what will happen. This is going to be a very dicey surgery. Yeah. Suck out, suck out, suck out. It's a miracle that very few people will have to be able to be present for the first breath. It is a very awesome joy that I think I'm lucky to have in my life. I'm Dr. Gloria Valencia, and I am the director of the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit for University Hospital in Brooklyn. I have been here for 35 years. I was staff as director in 1990, and I stayed on. I came from the Philippines, Manila. I am a mother of four children, and uh, I am married to an obstetrician as well. When I started, selecting where I would specialize, I knew it was a newborn because I don't know what time it was. I didn't realize when I was a resident here that it was eight to nine o'clock in the evening and I was so thrilled being in the neonatal ICU. I didn't even think of going home and that's when I realized my love is here, newborn care, the sick newborn care. We serve East New York. The infant mortality here is 7.2 per 1,000 live birth. This community needs us. The babies that we handle here are very, very high risk. A lot of women may not have adequate prenatal care. We now have a new group of babies that we handle. They are called the periviable babies. They are born at the cusp of maturity. They are 22 to 23 weeks of gestation. I cannot do it alone. It is because we have a whole group of committed nursing staff in the NICU. We also have very special social workers that deal with the mothers and the parents and their angst and their feelings because it is a very emotional time for the parents. Quite honestly, it has been very, very, very overwhelming. With my first daughter, I did not experience anything like this. So it's totally new to me coming to the NICU, basically seeing my son in a certain condition at times. It's very heartbreaking because there were times when I would come in here and I would break down, you know, emotionally and the nurses would be there to give me some encouraging words. Looking at him now compared to when he was just born, that's, that in itself is, is enough for me. I have no complaints. I'm pretty much comfortable. And now that I'm here, thank you to everyone at Dung State, especially the NICU team for being there for myself and my baby. The future for us is to train future physicians in my specialty and to advance the needs of the babies who are sick. The joy of having a baby resuscitated to well-being 
the joy of having a baby graduating from the NICU and giving that baby to the parents, that is an awesome, awesome accomplishment. I'm proud of it. <laughs>